what God is called That's right. right. Yeah. 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 We have a moral obligation to say, this is what thus said the Lord. Yeah. 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 The problem is more integrity has left the pulpits. Y'all not going to help me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. As, as it has left the pulpits, it has left the pews. Yeah. Nobody yeah. is saying anything. Yeah. Yeah. We're all sitting by and letting everything else have its way yeah. but God. Yeah. to walk through times of obscurity. All right. Mm -hmm. Times that seem dark, times that are gloomy, right. yeah. you're going to have to walk through. You, you can't get out of going through darkness. Right. Right. That's it. Just like the shadow, you can't stop the shadow from chasing you. That's right. You can't get out of passing through. Are right. you with me? Right. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Do you understand that? Come on. Yeah. But the question is, how do you deal with it? Mm -hmm. well, because the truth of the matter is, this generation, amen, of, of, of people, all right. church folk, I'm not going to say real Christians, because we know what it really looks like. Mm -hmm. But this generation who run to the masses, amen, they keep hearing these microwave messages, no. and then name it and claim it. But then when the obstacles come, they have no faith. The faith to believe God is not there. Right. Right. Come on. Because they haven't been taught that you got to go through yeah. Yeah. these dark times and come out victorious. Yeah. So that you can have a testimony for someone else. It's not really about you. That's right. It's about coming out with a strategy yes. on how to defeat the enemy. Yeah. How did you make it through? That's what I'm how did you come out of here? You know, we always crying about what we going through. Right. Take notes of how you got out of it. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. 
When you are coming through these times of obscurity and you are a frontline worker, one of the things that you must know is found. Amen. I want to look at verse 4. This particular text it says, So Esther Mays and her chamberlains came and told her. Do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Esther Mays and chamberlains came and told her. If you won't get out of what you are in, you have to have access to all the right information. All right. All right. All right. You have to have access to the things that are around you. Right. If people ain't telling you what's going on, how you gonna fix it? Right. Come on, come if the leaders don't know come what's on. happening in their own house, right. how they gonna know? Right. Right. Y'all really? Right. If y'all are not talking and giving the leaders the information that they need, how can they make the right decision right. outside of seeking God? And then you get mad at them because it went in your house and your friend's house. Right. And man, because right. God done told them everything about you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So the truth of the matter is, is if you're a frontline worker, you must have access to the information. Right. And so the Bible says that Hatchet and these kings, chamberlains, came in and they told her what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, but let's keep reading. It said, then was the king ex exceedingly grieved, and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, oh my but God. he received it not. Did y'all right. see that in verse 4? Yeah. Right. Here's the truth. You can't offer up false sense of pro vision and security. Oh, Quit doing it. People don't want to be pacified. They want to know how to get right. through their situation. Yeah. Yeah. Mordecai came with a real issue yeah. and he didn't want you to give him some clothes. That's right. Right. No. Right. No. How is somebody begging for bread and you're going to offer him a pair of shoes? That's wrong. Y'all yeah. help me out right now. Right. 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 You attended to the wrong need. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Take your time though. Look. Come on. Jesus. Yeah. Help us, Father. We have to be careful to hear God and know exactly what it is that the people need. Amen. So that way we'll know what to offer them. Yeah. That way we don't give them a false sense of security. Right? That's right. That's right. So that way when we hear them say, you know what, Lord, I'm crying out to you. Why are you crying out to him? Uh -huh. all right. Come on. Well, why are you all up in my business? So I'll know how to help you. Verse 5, then called